if they should stop, no worries. Hello everybody, Princess Bear here, and we're back at Fort Wilderness Campgrounds. We are here on a hot day to go to Trails End. This is finally reopened. We have been waiting to try this, so we're going back for breakfast. We've actually never been for breakfast. No. So we're gonna run up inside and hope the trail doesn't end. Be sure to be a friend in me. You heard the girl. Yeah. Welcome to the dawn of the new era at Trails <laughs> and uh, No Pioneer Mimosa, which was basically Pog Juice. We have regular Mimosa. Mimosa-y. It's, uh, it's like a 60-40 champagne to orange juice ratio. It's probably a little too orange juicy for me, and it's pulpy. So, three out of five oranges? I'm still drinking it. I commit to my mistakes. I'm sad as much as I love Trails in the bar that our Crockett Tavern bar that Trails in drink menu is like this big. But we're never gonna complain about a mimosa. Unless I'm eating a half an orange with it. That's a lot of pulp. It'll get the job done. Two and a half out of five plus. Here was a tall glass of wake up juice, AKA Bloody Mary, with some absolute pepper vodka. Let's uh, see how peppery this is. Mm. It's not bad. It gets peppery without having to worry about getting like the flakes of pepper you sometimes get with like a Bloody Mary stuck in your throat. I kind of like the balance. I do wish, obviously there was some swine in this, but I will do with the olives. It's an above board Bloody Mary. Three out of five plus. We have our normal gluten-free bread. We have cornbread, and then another bread, and a strawberry butter. Let's go with your Oh gosh, gluten free, already super dry. I don't even think I want to eat a whole bite of that. With some of this butter. The butter's good. This is dry beyond all belief. The bread is like one out of five glutens. The butter. Like a four out of five. Butter is good. Glad at least we have a few plant based options here. Always afraid of these vegan slash vegan streets. Like vegan? Up here. Gluten free? Here. Vegan and gluten free? Yeah. There's ever a bread equivalent to cardboard? What's that? Like I'm a child, this is how I imagine cardboard tasting. Less sharp edges though. We're lucky we're inside. I'm zero out of five plus, don't eat this. They're not good. Oh, it's terrible. It just gets worse as you chew it. Like, it's not any better wet. As soon as you start drinking something behind it, it's like sand. And then there's the cornbread. Little baby cornbread. Thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate it. Also extremely dry. Very, very dry. More dry than the cornbread at Whispering Canyon. I would give that like a... Two out of five cornbreads, not the greatest. We have this cornbread. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> That's like a K 
kitchen and sponge consistency. You guys know how I love my cornbread. Did you just get Jeff Goldblum it? I did Jeff Goldblum it. I'm glad I did. That's just as bad. It's like the previous bread, but sweeter. It's like sweet cardboard. Also, zero out of five laws. And then a sponge bread that's sticky. Smells like, I don't know. Mm. This is good. This is like a sticky dessert pastry thingy, but it's also extremely dry. Like, I need some tea with this. That's the best thing, though. So I'd give it three out of five frostings. Whatever frosting is on it is really good. Okay, this one at least feels damp. Very sticky. It's almost scone like. Okay, that's edible at least. Mm, okay. <laughs> Hmm. It's like a sticky sweet scone. Skip the others, go straight to this one. This one is at least decent. Three out of five plus. And uh, my favorite, the sticky buns, uh, that is uh, a... So we have an array of things here. Uh, I guess the star of the show is this strawberry honey butter, decidedly not vegan. Then we have some more non-vegan multi-grain croissants to haunt the princess. Uh, looks like we have some what looks like blueberry muffins and like a little sticky bun. Got a sticky bun last one. Some roll walnuts. The walnuts is your thing. It's pretty good flavor, tasty, warm. Like the waiter said, right out of the oven. Three out of five plus. Go ahead and tease the princess with this croissant. Delicious looking strawberry honey butter. Just a little bit because I don't want to die. So the multigrain, I'll give that a two and a half out of five plus. It's a basic multigrain out. Croissant, nothing special about it, but it's good. And the butter. And then we have a buttered one. Nice and flaky. A little dab with the honey butter, strawberry honey butter. Three out of five plus. Last up, we have these little mini muffins. Cute little things. Packed with blueberry. You can see it just staining the paper. Hmm. Mm. It's dense, but it's got a blueberry punch. Three and a half out of five claws. The best thing in here by far. I love these baby mason jars. They are so cute. And I have a lemon parfait. Tastes like lemon meringue pie. It's actually really good. I love it. This is a five out of five parfait. I would eat like five of these. It's good. Love a commitment to a theme. Mason jar, everything, really. Oh, nice blueberry lemon looking parfait. Get some layers in there. Healthy bit of lemon. Healthy bit of this, I'm assuming is whipped cream. You love lemon, you're gonna love this. It's definitely a uh, like a lemon uh, lemon head yogurt topped with blueberries, but it works. It's not terrible. Two and a half out of five plus. The princess got like a, a pretty mason jar. I get like a a horse trough tin. Are trying to tell me something? I feel some kind of way about that. I'm still gonna eat it, but you know. So we got some what, granola, blackberries, and huge chunks of strawberry. They could have been a little bit smaller. Okay. 
feels very similar to some other parfaits we've had, but as far as breakfast goes, it works. I could use a little bit more granola, but I'm not picky. Three out of five claws. I'm gonna be a savage and just eat right out of the plate because I don't need the side plate thing anymore. I'm gonna, oh my gosh, look at this. That is just a huge piece of sausage with some just egg. Cheers. Oh, it's jackfruit. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I like jackfruit. I like jackfruit a lot, except for, you know, you gotta chop it a little bit more than this. It's sweet. It's not bad. Is it better than a Ohana jackfruit? No. But, it is worth it to try and make a jackfruit breakfast. I would experiment with this at home. I wouldn't proactively come here for this, but I do kind of like the creativity of putting jackfruit in just egg. I would have never thought of that myself. I would give it three and a half out of five jackfruits. This is definitely an interesting looking spread for your plant-based food. I feel like how the jackfruit and just egg looked is how I expected the brisket and eggs to look. It definitely looks more like brisket on this side than non-plant-based for sure. Pretty. The jackfruit gives some a little bit more seasoning and the just eggs just a tiny bit runny. I don't really like it all that runny, but uh, it's definitely a unique option. But it's not bad. And for the value of 20 bucks, all you can eat, I can't be too horribly mad at it. Three out of five claws. And then we have some crunchy tots. Kind of wish there was chili on them. It's a crunchy top. I will give it two out of five potatoes. It's, it's crunchy. There were tots or potato barrels, whichever you prefer. What do you guys call them? They've always been tots to me. The, the term potato barrel just seems fitting but odd. Let me know in the comments. Okay. If there was a breakfast textbook, the example of a tater tot would be that. It's about as perfect as tater tots to get. Perfect crunch, warm inside, can't complain. Four to five plus. And then we have the Mickey waffle. Taking his ear. Dunking in the syrup. Gluten free. Cakey. Not bad for Mickey waffle. I want to try it one other way. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take some butter. Just a little bit of strawberry butter. And put this on the other ear. Cheers. Mmm. That's the winning thing to do. Strawberry Mickey Waffle. Ooh, strawberry chocolate Mickey Waffle would be so good. Mickey Waffles are a consistent, delicious 4 out of 5 mouses. Overall, the skillet's not too bad. I mean, it's $20. Can't complain. That's for these Mickey Waffles. It's funny. Trails Inn can do it. How come some of the other resorts can't? No. I usually expect the plant-based and gluten-free Mickey waffles to be denser and more cake-like, but in this case, they're actually lighter. Like these are more than the ones that I got. 
Give that three and a half out of five claws. Suppose that we can try with a little bit of the princess's butter. A little dab. A bit more than dab. Strawberry plant based butter. That's a four out of five claws. I'm impressed by the waffle. Shocked more than anything. Not bad. Overall, I'll give the whole skillet three and a half out of five claws. Disney, I get it. Family style dining. However, I think you forget at the size of some of your tables are. All these tables were not designed for family style dining. For even two people. Like this is there's like no space left. One errant move and you're just gonna have this food flying. And then again here with uh I like the spread of food. But I wish you would shrink the portion sizes when there's only like one person at a table in particular because this is a lot of food. It feels very wasteful. Because I'm not even need half of this. This is like enough for four people, and I get it. They designed family style dining for four people, but you don't need all this food at once. Plant-based skills are small. Like you can build those into those. Get like one to each individual person. I've complained enough. So where to start? Uh, let's go with these ridiculously cheesy looking potato. That is, ah, cheesy hash browns. It looks like mac and cheese, but it's just super cheesy hash browns. Big hunks of potato as well. Interesting. Mm. My hash browns are kind of lost in there. At this point, it might as well just be cheese fries. It's like cheese with the side of potato, really. If you love cheese, you're gonna love this. If you're looking for potato in there, maybe not. Three out of five plus. And we have their unique breakfast item, which is scrambled eggs stuffed with smoked brisket. I guess you can't really get more country than that. It definitely comes out in huge chunks, but with this brisket in here, let's see how it tastes. I was expecting a little bit more brisket flavor. I mean, it's definitely there, but it's more like a, it just tastes sort of like a sausage mixed in. There we go. When you get the bigger chunks, you can definitely taste the brisket. It's not like a, it's just a cooked brisket, sort of shredded in there. No added sauce or anything else like that. It's okay. But it's just a different form of meat in your eggs. Nothing to write home about, and I wouldn't come here specifically for that. Two and a half out of five plus. And we have the bacon. And no, for the last time, guys, I did not bribe the chef. I didn't get extra bacon, okay? The bacon looks bacony. Little on the side, we still got a nice crisp crunch to it. Decent bacon, two and a half out of five claws. I believe we also have sausage links in here. A little breakfast sausage. They can stand a little bit more char. They just look greasy. They taste greasy. If you like greasy breakfast sausage, time to Two out of five claws. Then we have. <coughs> we have the infamous Mickey waffles. I was hoping for some character waffles. I couldn't get like a 
Jesse or Woody. Bullseye waffle? No, just Mickey. You do get cute little mason jars of syrup, but you, you can't do princess style. So we'll give it a little pour. Uh, it's cooked, uh, not raw. Pastry, it tastes uh, like your uh, standard pastry. waffle. I still don't understand what you guys love about these mini waffles so much. It's still subpar to a pancake. To an evident waffle. Uh, it's so fine. Probably because I'm sitting, not moving. Mm -hmm. The trail ended. It did end. Uh, it was a breakfast. Given that you're here at Wilderness, for Wilderness Campgrounds, you don't have a lot of options. It's a decent breakfast. I'm not going to hate it. It's cheap. 20 bucks for it'll, a Disney breakfast? It'll get you full. It definitely will. I wish they had a bigger alcohol selection, but you know us. Uh, but, you know, that's given where you are, given the times and the fact that Carcass Tavern isn't open until 4. I'll take what I can get. So, we want to know after you've seen this, do you think this is good value? Or do you think maybe another breakfast is? Let us know in the comments. If there's anywhere else you'd like to see us go for breakfast or otherwise, that's going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. Davy Crockett.